today is all about envisioning a robust, adaptable brand that can grow and evolve with your business. We're going to dive into the importance of having a clear vision for your brand and explore strategies to take consistent steps towards realizing that vision. Our focus will be on long-term goals, ensuring that your brand leaves a lasting legacy that stands the test of time. Together, we're going to tap into the power of your brand's potential, create a compelling roadmap for your future, and set the stage for all of your future sustainable success. A little story time to get us started. So imagine in the not so distant future, we see an entrepreneur named Alex and they discover a time traveling wristwatch in the attic of their inherited family home. Curious, but ever the risk taker, (laughs) they put it on and they're instantly transported to a futuristic city built around a central hub called the Alex Institute. As they're exploring this reality that they're transported into, they realize that this institute is a global powerhouse, providing life-changing products and services, improving countless lives, and creating meaningful jobs for so many humans. And as Alex explores the city, they realize that a deeply ingrained, compelling vision must have guided every decision and action to get here because it was such a departure from the reality that they experienced before. This vision must have acted as a magnetic force, pulling Alex, their team towards greatness, even in the most challenging times. As they take off the magical watch and return to the present, Alex begins working on crystallizing their vision and setting a course for the future. With determination, they pour their heart and soul into this business, into this mission, confident that the wristwatch had revealed their extraordinary potential. So clearly this is a fictional story. We don't have access to magical time traveling wristwatches, but can you imagine the power of if you were transported 10, 20 years into your future and you got to witness a dramatic impact that you were able to create? Can you start to imagine what kind of motivation that would be? to know for sure that your biggest dreams and desires and legacy were possible. And when you think in that frame of thinking, when you think through that story or that possibility, it really is true for all of us. We live in this incredible time where we have access to technology and tools and collaborating with people across the world. We have potential at our fingertips. And what really is necessary is deciding what potential you're going to chase after. So I hope that we can narrow down all of the millions of different paths that your life and your business could take down to the one that you're most excited about here in today's training. There was a time in my business when I was working around the clock, constantly striving and building to make an impact. I was consumed by the hashtag hustle. And honestly, I was exhausted. I realized something had to give. I've had a few of these moments in my life. I've told you about some of them. This particular one that I'm thinking of is when we had just moved to Italy and I had the idea to launch my brand fluency archetype courses. There was a lot happening all at once. I realized once I got through the launch, as amazing as it was, it's actually to this date, one of the most successful monetary launches that I've ever had, but it was absolutely one of those times where I went into hibernation after the launch because I had stretched myself too thin. I had not achieved any kind of balance and I knew something had to shift. Good news was I just created this asset that to this day creates incredible benefits for my business. But I also knew that it wasn't sustainable to keep doing that, to have like launch after launch after launch. I knew that the only way that I was going to create lasting success was by redefining my vision and committing to it. I needed to build something that would not only stand the test of time, but would also allow me, underline, underline, to maintain a healthy work-life balance. So I started to envision this business that would provide me with the flexibility to adapt to different seasons in life and 
to do that without sacrificing the impact that I wanted to make. I wanted to put systems in place. I wanted to find the right support and establish boundaries that would allow me to work smarter, not harder. And this all took time. But as I am teaching this lesson now, I've kind of found my sweet spot. So I work about 25 hours a week. I've never felt more fulfilled. I feel incredibly successful. And none of this would have been possible if I hadn't have taken the time to step back, step out, zoom out and create that vision and commit to it. Over these last years that I've been talking about, I've been able to move away from a lot of the one-on-one work that I do. I still have a few like dream clients that I make time for in my schedule. I've started this mastermind that I'm going to tell you a little bit more about later. And I get to pour into entrepreneurs in a way that suits my energy and suits my values. So keep imagining with me a world where your unique skills, talents, and passion are fully harnessed to create transformative change. Picture communities thriving, lives uplifted, and dreams realized, all because you dare to unleash your power. And in this world, we can create together a world where our collective impact ripples out, igniting hope and inspiring a brighter future for our kids or our friends' kids, our families, and generations to come. I see it every day. And as entrepreneurs, we don't have to wait for somebody else's permission. We get to help and serve in the way that we have been built. Today, we're shaking things up a little bit with our structure. We're going to dive right into the experiential part after we cover a bit of the science, immersing ourselves into the power of what we're talking about. After that, I'm going to share some insight about how a small portion of you, maybe 5% of you are going to be ready and will be the perfect fit to join me in the collective. Let's dive in to some case studies that demonstrate the immense power of establishing a compelling vision. Have you ever had a trip, perhaps that you've gone on with a group of people, a diverse set of desires, and you found that the trip just didn't really appease or truly fulfill any of the group because you're trying to appease all of these different styles and desires and so on. Sometimes it's worth it because we get to connect with our loved ones and we get to spend amazing moments and create memories with them. But sometimes it can be an absolute disaster. Or even if you're just going on a trip with your own family, if you don't take the time to sit down and really think through and set your intention of what kind of trip you want this to be, you can end up leaving the whole experience feeling disappointed. And that's a shame, right? Like we're taking the time off of work, we're spending all this money. And sometimes it just still isn't as fulfilling as we hoped because we didn't put the time in. Setting a vision is incredibly important when we're creating these memorable experiences. Another example that maybe some of you have experience with are home improvement projects. Can you imagine if you just like went to Lowe's and started buying like random products and brought them home and started fixing 17 different things all at once? I can imagine this because my dad was notorious for this when I was growing up. He always had about seven projects going. None of them were complete. And then like all of these different pieces were set out, but he never had all of the right pieces. And it's just not a very effective way of going at it, right? But if we have a clear vision, then it makes it so much easier to complete the steps necessary to realize that vision. It helps you decide what projects to do, what to do first and next and next and so on. And I mean, the same thing happens in our business, right? It's kind of easy to see the parallels when we start to think in this lateral format of different parts of our life. And then another one that I see it often, both in myself and in my friends and family is like setting fitness goals. So you could have just the generic goal of, I want to get healthy. I want to be successful, but that is really hard to realize unless you define what getting healthy means for you. Are you trying to build muscle? Are you trying to increase your cardiovascular capacity? Are you simply trying to eat more whole foods? Are you trying to lose weight? What are you actually trying to do when you say, I want to get healthy? Clear vision makes the plan obvious. I mean, some of us want all of the things, right? Like we don't want to have to choose. We don't want to have to prioritize 
all of our goals. But I think we do that as a protection mechanism. We do it because we're worried about failing if we set a really clear vision and a really clear set of steps to get there. If we don't follow them, we feel disappointed, right? It's our brain overcomplicating the vision so that it just feels too big, too broad. And we can give ourselves more grace when we don't achieve it. When you get really specific about your vision, it can be both really inspiring, like we've already talked about, but it can also be terrifying. It can put a little bit of pressure on you, but let's let the inspiration outweigh that feeling. I just wanted to normalize that because I recognize that in myself. Embracing your vision is not only an empowering mindset, but it also has scientific basis. There's this concept of the self-fulfilling prophecy, probably heard that phrase before. And there's been psychological studies that suggest that our beliefs and expectations significantly influence our behaviors and outcomes. So when you believe in your vision and you expect positive results, you're more likely to take the necessary actions and make the decisions that align with your goals. Your brain doesn't want to make you a liar. If you decide that something is true for you and that you are going for it, it will find ways to make it happen. But if you're constantly ruminating on the opposite, your brain will find ways to make that happen. Related to this is the book Built to Last, Collins and Porus found that companies with a strong, enduring vision consistently outperform their competitors. Their research showed that having a clear vision contributed to the company's long-term success and sustainability. And I'm going to dive a little bit more into some of the key findings in their book because I think it helps point us in the direction of how we can make our visions come true. So they identified a few core components of visionary companies, one of them being a core ideology, companies that have an unwavering set of core values and a purpose beyond just making money. This core ideology serves as their guiding star, providing a sense of direction and meaning to both the organization and the employees. Even if you're an organization of one, having a reason beyond the money is important. Setting what they call BHAGs, big, hairy, audacious goals. Visionary companies set ambitious long-term goals that challenge the organization, inspire people to achieve greatness. These goals, as long as they're rooted in the company's core ideology, act as a unifying focal point for the organization's efforts. Another thing that helps visionary companies succeed is having a cult-like culture. Strong companies with strong visions result in kind of this unique, intense corporate culture that reinforces the core ideology and drives commitment to the company's mission. And then also an air of continuous improvement and innovation. And then the last necessary ingredient is having a long-term perspective. Visionary companies prioritize long-term success and sustainability over short-term gains. I feel like this is really easy to say and hard to implement, especially in online business when everything that everybody talks about is how to get a hundred thousand followers in 60 days or how to sell X amount of dollars in two weeks. We've all seen it, but the most successful companies, small and big, understand the importance of investing in the future. And they're willing to make sacrifices in the today for the sake of long-term growth and stability. More science, according to a study by the University of Scranton, those who have a clear vision and consistently track their progress are 10 times more likely to achieve their goals. And then in a different study conducted by Dr. Gail Matthews, who's a psychology professor at the Dominican University of California, it was found that individuals who wrote down their goals and shared them with a friend were 33% more successful in achieving those goals compared to those who merely formulated goals in their minds. Envision yourself as a sculptor standing before a raw block of marble that represents all of the limitless potential of your future. And with every precise stroke of the chisel, guided by your clear and unwavering vision, you artfully carve away the excess, all of the distractions, all of the things that you could do, and you reveal the masterpiece hidden within. As you shape your future, each thoughtful decision and focused action Toward success, creating a lasting legacy that stands as a testament to your unique vision. You are the sculptor of your life. You get to chisel away all of the different pieces according to your unique vision. And then three quick case studies, and we'll move into our experiential exercise. Beyond Me is such an interesting case study. Ethan Brown 
who's the founder, had a compelling vision to transform the way that people eat by creating plant-based meat alternatives that taste as good or even better than traditional meat products. His goal is to address concerns regarding animal welfare, climate change, and human health. In 2009, Brown started his journey and created a plant-based meat substitute that could win over even the most devoted carnivores. Their first products beyond burger and beyond sausage have gained significant attention and the brand has quickly expanded into grocery stores and restaurants worldwide. Can you imagine if he never had that vision, if he never dared to strike out and do that? Uh, Jack Dorsey, the co-founder of Twitter and Jim Kelvey, excuse my pronunciation here. They started the company Square in 2009, and their vision was to empower small businesses by providing them with affordable and easy to use payment processing. At the time, a lot of small businesses struggled to accept credit card payments due to the high fees, complicated systems, and Dorsey and McKelvey recognized this gap, developed this small square-shaped card reader that plugged into smartphones and I, we all know how ubiquitous the technology is now. Every time we pick up a coffee, people turn around this little kiosk to add a tip to it, right? So it's enabled business owners to accept credit card payments. And because they envisioned this world where small businesses could compete with larger businesses and thrive, they've been doing incredibly well. Another inspiring bigger business that we can learn from Tim Brown, former professional soccer player, and Joey Zwillinger, a biotech engineer, founded Allbirds, which is a shoe company, to create sustainable and comfortable footwear using natural materials. They spent years researching, experimenting with different materials, and then developed their signature product, shoes made from merino wool, eucalyptus tree fiber, and sugar cane. Allbirds' compelling vision has resonated with consumers who are increasingly conscious of their environmental impact and the com- company continues to innovate, developing new materials and expanding its product range. All right, y'all. Okay. Today I want to introduce you to a tool. It has the power to unlock your potential and guide you towards achieving your dreams. And this tool is visualization. Visualization allows you to tap into your imagination and create a vivid mental image of your goals, helping you manifest them in the real world. This is the closest thing that we have to that magical wristwatch. And by practicing visualization regularly, you're not only going to gain clarity on your aspirations, but you also cultivate an emotional connection with your desired outcomes. And this emotional connection can motivate you, inspire you to take action, ultimately transforming those dreams, that visualization into reality. A few disclaimers before we start, just make sure that you're in a safe space. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can always just gaze to like a spot on your ceiling or past the bridge of your nose. Some people don't see clear mental images. I'm not sure what the percent is, maybe like 10 or 15%. Our brains just don't generate images, but you still can generate ideas, feelings, just a felt sense and get some of the same insights. Don't worry if you don't see like a clear movie playing out in front of you. All right, let's, let's go. Begin by finding a comfortable position, either sitting or laying down in a space where you feel at ease. Gently close your eyes and shift your focus to the top of your head. Imagine a warm, soothing sensation starting at the crown of your head and slowly working its way down through your body. This comforting feeling releases any tension or stress you may be holding on to. As the warmth spreads down through your forehead, face, and neck, feel the muscles in these areas begin to relax. Allow the sensation to continue down through your shoulders, through your arms, down into your hands, releasing any tightness you may be carrying. Feel the warmth spreading down your spine, chest, and stomach, letting go of any tension, relaxing your core muscles. Now imagine that soothing sensation continuing down your hips, thighs, and knees. And finally, feel the warmth reach your lower legs, ankles, and feet, releasing any tension you may be holding on to in these areas. Your entire body is now completely relaxed and at ease. 
any sounds in the background of mine or your environment, just remind you to relax and to sink down deeper into this feeling. Picture yourself standing in a beautiful, serene meadow. The sun is shining down, casting a warm, gentle light over everything. You can feel the soft, cool grass beneath your feet and hear the soothing melody of birdsong fill the air. In the distance, you see a magnificent oak tree with strong, sturdy branches stretching towards the sky. This tree represents your entrepreneurial journey and the growth of your brand. Begin walking towards the tree, feeling a sense of excitement and anticipation for what lies ahead. As you reach the tree, you notice a small wooden chest at its base. Your chest might be simple and sturdy or ornate and detailed. However you see it is perfect for you. This chest represents your brand's vision and potential. When you're ready, gently open the chest and notice inside you see a glowing, radiant light that illuminates everything around it. This light symbolizes your brand's impact and legacy. As you examine the light and look closer, you begin to see and to feel all of the countless ways that your brand has touched the lives of others. You see thriving communities that have been built around your brand. You see the connections and friendships that have been forged as a result of your work. Take a moment and explore all of the different aspects of your brand's vision and impact. What are the colors, textures, and shapes that make up your brand? How does it feel? to be in the presence of your brand's full potential. Look around and see the people who have been positively impacted by your brand. They're smiling, grateful, and inspired by the work that you've done. Take a moment and listen to their stories, their experiences with your brand, and how it's transformed their lives for the better. As you continue and explore the light, you come across a beautiful, tranquil pool of water. As you gaze into the water, you see your reflection, the leader and visionary behind your brand. Notice what you're wearing. Notice how you look. Notice the confidence and pride in your eyes knowing that you have created something truly exceptional. Take another deep, relaxing breath and let this image of your future self fill your entire being. Feel the power, wisdom, and determination you possess, knowing that this vision is within your reach. Take as long as you desire, basking in the light, basking in the reflection of yourself. Know that you can always return here. You can always come back to this crystal clear representation of your vision. You can always come back and hear the stories of the people that you're going to impact through your brand. And you can always come back and remind yourself of the person you're becoming on this journey. It's time to return to the meadow. So let's walk back towards the oak tree, feeling the warmth and the light of the sun on your face once more. As you stand beneath the tree, take one last moment to absorb the energy and the inspiration from your brand vision. Know that this vision is within you waiting to be brought to life. Know that this chest is available to you whenever you need. And as you feel ready, slowly bring your awareness back to your physical surroundings, 
gently move your fingers and your toes. Take a deep, revitalizing breath. And when you're ready, open your eyes, feeling refreshed, inspired, and ready to manifest your brand vision into reality. I always recommend after an exercise like that to take a few moments, perhaps jot down a few key phrases or reflections or insights. I hope everybody enjoyed that. It is truly magical what happens when we just give ourselves a few moments to sink into relaxation, to let go of the tension that we don't even realize that we're holding and to access some of that clarity. So as you reflect on where you're going, And again, maybe it was super clear. Maybe a few elements became clear. Using this type of exercise regularly will provide new insight every time that you do use it. The second piece I'd like you to reflect on is what is necessary for you to create this reality that you're imagining? Who do you need to become? Who do you need to (laughs) unbecome? What parts of yourself do you want to let go of? Because as we talked about yesterday, are not as useful as they once were before. What beliefs support your vision? Do you want to cultivate a belief that you are enough, that you have what it takes, that you're a natural entrepreneur, that you serve people generously, that the world recognizes your gifts? Are there any skills that you want to work to develop to be able to realize this vision, this dream? What environment do you want to cultivate? Environment isn't the most powerful thing. Identity is Like deciding who you are, I am this, I am that is more powerful, but environment can feed into our identity. Environment is everything from the people that you surround yourself with to the things that you find in your home to the places that you go. What actions will you take to realize your vision, including what is the next best step that I can take right now? Yes, clearly there's this long road. There's all of these things that I want to do that I could do, but what is your next best step? What kind of support do you want to put in your own corner? Are you looking for more community and connection? Do you need mentorship in a certain area or certain skill set? Do you need more support at home? What are some creative ways that you could enlist more support? What are the assets that either you already have that are going to help you create this vision or that you want to create? To me, assets are things like my body of work, the systems that I create, the things that actually facilitate me helping. And purposely last, what are the gifts that you already have that will help you realize this vision? What do you already possess? What are all of these stories and experiences and talents and everything that you've been gathering on your journey so far? You don't have to go into great detail, but it is really powerful to share your vision. Like we talked about earlier when we are talking about the science, By writing it down, we become more likely to achieve it. So if you've been thinking about joining a supportive community of fellow entrepreneurs and getting some guidance along the way, my Brandt Clarity Collective is the best value of everything that I sell. And I have a special offer that I put together for the Clarity Catalyst. The Brand Clarity Collective is my exclusive mastermind and mentorship program. So it's designed to provide you with everything that you need to start and scale a successful brand. You're going to get access to all of the best branding education, plus expert mentorship, plus a community of entrepreneurs to support your success. I know that entrepreneurs like you, if you're like the humans that are already in the collective, you're smart and you're driven, you have a ton to offer. And if only you can shape and bring that to the world in a way that more people see that your business would thrive, but standing out in this online world is competitive. It's noisy. It's challenging. It can be difficult to break through. And that's where the brand clarity collective comes in and helps you. The program helps you access powerful brand clarity by guiding you to leverage your innate strengths. It's not magic. It's psychology. You get access to all of my courses. You get access to the mastermind experience, which is real live support. So in the not so distant future, this looks like you could be proudly sharing your brand and your content, promoting your brand in a way that makes you light up, feeling a thousand percent authentic in everything that you do, magnetizing and attracting your ideal clients to your brand instead of feeling like you need to chase them down, 
consistently posting and being visible with a cohesive strategy across all of the different platforms that you want to be on, feeling in control of your results and your schedule, normalizing new levels of business results by being in a community with like-minded and driven entrepreneurs, knowing that no matter what comes up, you have a place where you can ask questions, be seen and understood and connecting with like-minded entrepreneurs for maybe joint ventures, collaborations, getting support. Like Elizabeth, she was in my brand new brand program, which is included in the collective. She said that this experience revolutionized my business model. It stands head and shoulders over any other online group or mastermind that I've joined. I've learned branding is so much more than the package I was dressing my business up in. I really didn't get that before. Truth is this approach speaks to me, energizes me, clarifies me, and magnetizes me. I realize now I never got as far as I wanted with any of it because I was trying to fit into what I was taught would work versus transforming my brand into the best it could be. So it attracts my ideal clients organically. The experience in the program includes all 12 of the brand fluency archetype courses. So this helps you identify your top archetypes. If you happen to work with clients, you can use this to inform your own work. It includes brand new brand, which is the step-by-step A to Z process to build your own brand book. So this includes your logos, your fonts, your colors, your messages, your stories, your bio, all of the different pieces that make up your brand. Clarity Week is a great kickstart. It gives you an overview of your brand. It helps you get started quickly. The Brand Advantage is a 30-day momentum building sprint where we just focus on taking imperfect brand building action for 30 days. We run the sprint live in the collective twice per year. Clarity to scale is all about creating those sustainable structures that I've been talking about that allow me to work less hours per week. It's an incredible workshop. And then we also have lessons that previously were only available with my one-on-one and small group VIP clients. We've pulled them into the collective as well. Olia, the dancer next door is one of my longtime students. You can see how she's created this like beautiful, distinctive brand, particularly through the brand new brand experience. And she's also gotten support around her launches. If you're into ballet, I highly recommend checking her out. She has an incredible class coming up. Depending on where you are in your brand building journey, you can just dip in, get what you need, and then come back to the rest of it when it's relevant to you. We start by defining the core truths of your brand so that you attract your ideal clients on the subconscious emotional level in the core section offers how you're defining what you sell so that you're tapping into desires and demand that is already present in the market when you're building your offers. Demand is all about visibility and how you are getting out in the world and attracting new people to your brand orbit, nurturing them, getting them ready to buy. And then finally, like we said yesterday, your results will never outpace your energy. So we need to make sure that as the visionary of our brand, we're taking care of our energetic capacity. This isn't even half of the lessons in it. It's very robust. I can always help point to the lessons that are going to be most applicable to you. And you can always dip in and take what you need at any given point. The mastermind includes what we call monthly mentorship group coaching sessions every month. We also have a guest expert every month. And then we have what we call a spotlight call every month. So the group coaching is where I'm answering your questions about your brand. You can get feedback on different brand assets that you're building. The monthly spotlight calls, we highlight one member of the collective at a time, and we all help coach that person. It's really fantastic for learning. It's easier to see brands when it's not our own. So it's a really great practice to pour into one member at a time and see how they can improve their brand. And it has really great effects for the people who aren't even being featured that month. Our monthly guest experts have included workshops on website strategy, Pinterest marketing, YouTube marketing. We have some upcoming ones about Facebook ads, about SEO, and some really pertinent topics. And then we have a private mastermind that's not on Facebook. It's on Circle, where you can connect with your fellow members. Some of the members are in like business coaching and consulting, like Sherry. She has an incredible membership that helps people who are astro curious line up their marketing with what's happening in astrology. She's incredible, very business minded, but also very intuitive. We have people like Tia. She's an artist who is also starting a community of artists, a really innovative business model in her local town, which has been really incredible to see and witness. Uh, Debbie 
actually runs two businesses. She is on one hand, a organic gardener and sells a lot of online courses in that one. And then also a business consultant, credible human. And this is just a small portion of amazing people. Cynthia is a health and wellness coach who helps people ditch the diet and live a more holistic, healthy, vibrant life. So those are the types of people that are in the collective now. And the common thread that runs through all of them is they are incredibly smart. They're incredibly driven and they're focused on building brands based on their unique genius, not trying to do what everybody else says that you should do. This is an unparalleled package of resources, mentorship, and community support. And it's an excellent value for the investment. So by joining the collective, you're not only getting access to all of the courses, but you're also tapping into the power of the mastermind community, which can be truly priceless. So all of this is available on my website. You can get to it pretty easily by kpatnam.com slash BCC. So you can get access to everything that I just described for your first payment today for $297. It's $297 per month for six months. And then after that, you get lifetime access to all of the curriculum, or you can decide to pay in full and it's $1,497. So like I said, over $15,000 value you're getting for $1,497, which is amazing. Another BNB student. And again, this is just like one course out of the whole library that you get best money spent. So if I were working or if I'm working on a super tight budget, if I had to choose again, I definitely do it solidified in my own mind, what I envisioned and desired helped me bring it to life. I couldn't have wrestled through it on my own. I think that's a very common sentiment. We get in our own way, we get overwhelmed, have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see some of you in the collective.